Center. Our podcast today is Eat Clean. Subtitle, Eat to Live, Don't Live to Eat. We're going to look at several food pyramids to give, to give you an idea of different ways you can eat clean, different ways you can eat to live. So the main focus is to eat to live. The food that you choose in your daily diet should be food that will nourish your body, food that will replenish your body of nutrients that you lose on a daily basis. So you want to have food that is healthy, food that is clean. So eating clean means to choose the best possible food you can. So eat to live. Don't live to eat. There's nothing wrong with eating. There's nothing. Uh, everyone loves to eat. Everyone loves to sit down and have a nice meal. But when you prepare the meal, if you're one that prepare the meal, you should prepare that meal with love first of all. Then you should ensure that the best ingredients are present in that food that you're presenting to your family. So when you go to the grocery store, shop the outer aisles. Make sure you get the freshest vegetables. Make sure you get the freshest meat from the uh, meat market. Make sure you try to get meat that is free of hormones, meat that has no antibiotics. Try to get grass-fed beef. Try to get chickens that have been um, lied out outside the, ne uh, the nest and are able to roam freely. Make sure you get pasteurized eggs as possible. Make sure your meat is organic. Make sure that is, your cow is grass-fed and not uh, eating oats and uh, wheat, etc. Make sure you, if, you, if you can, eat grass-fed cow. So, eat clean. Eat to live, don't live to eat. And on that same subject, on that same uh, premise, the, your food should be your medicine. Hippocrates, who is, who is known as the father of medicine, he said, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. So your first hospital or your first um, health clinic is the kitchen. The food that you have in your kitchen should be food that will heal you. Will, should be food that will heal you, not kill you. So let food be thy medicine, and medicine be thy food, as Hippocrates once said. Now, let's look at the first of the pyramids that we're going to look at. We're going to look at four Pyramids, four uh, food pyramids, and we're going to look at the different, we're, we're going to kind of co contrast them. Every one of these four pyramids are good pyramids to go by. So find one that fits you, fits your lifestyle. The first one we want to look at, this pyramid, at the top of the pyramid is vegetables. And it suggests that you have 30% of your calories coming from vegetables. 10% to 40% coming from beans or legumes. 10% to 40% coming from fruits. 10% to 10% or 40% coming from seeds and nuts. 20% or less coming from whole grains. So this diet calls for an uptake in vegetables, beans, fruits, and seeds and nuts, and to limit your whole grains. Also, it calls for less than 10% of your protein or your calories coming from meat. So, it emphasizes vegetables, 
Up to 60% of your calories come from vegetables. Up to 40% come from beans. Up to 40 from fruits. Up to 40 from um, seeds and nuts. But less than 20 from whole grains and less than 10% from animal pro- uh, products. And also, it c- causes you to avoid processed foods entirely. So no Big Macs, no uh, Whoppers, no fries from McDonald's, etc. So this diet, diet number one, rich in vegetables, beans. So a good diet, this diet, I would say 60% of your stuff comes from vegetables, 10% from beans, 10% from fruits, 10% from um, nuts. So that's 60, 70, 80, 90, and about 10% from whole grains or from um, animal products. But you can finesse it any way you want to, but that's an example of a healthy food pyramid. Let's move to this next slide, number six. And this slide, at the very top of the slide is well, you should take a very small amount, and that's beef, sweets, cheese, and processed foods. It calls for you to r- take those sparingly, or rarely eat beef, rarely eat sweets, rarely uh, eat cheese and processed foods. And the second, it says less than 10% of your calories should come from eggs, fish, and fat-free dairy. Also, the pyramid splits in half on the third level with seasoned nuts and avocados. It says 10 to 40% of your calories should come from seeds, nuts, and avocados. 10% or less from whole grains and potatoes. And try to avoid white potatoes. Also, as we go down the pyramid, fruits, 10% to 40% of the calories. Beans and legumes, 10% to 40% of calories. And the biggest area of the biggest consumption will be vegetables. One half raw and one half cooked. 30 to 60% of the calories should come from vegetables. This pyramid was uh, put together by Dr. Joel Fuhrman, who was a noted... um, Naturopathic doctor, uh, nutritionist. Now, you can see just look, looking at comparing those two pyramids, both pyramids agree that vegetables should be a very large part of your diet. Fruit should be a very large part of your diet. Beans and legumes should be a very large part of your diet as well as seeds and nuts. So there's similarities with the pyramids concerning those items. Now let's look at number, the next pyramid, number seven. And this is the raw food pyramid. This pyramid will be a little extreme for some people, but for, for, but for some people this pyramid might be the pyramid that fits you. And the raw food pyramid calls it the very top Seaweed nutritional yeast, which is medicinal foods that should be eaten sparingly. Then, and the medicinal foods also include herbs, microgreens, and wheatgrass juice. The second level is protein, amino acids, and that should be eaten moderately. And that includes nuts and seeds, flex, and hemp seeds, as well as sprouts and legumes. And on the next level is the foundation foods, which you should eat generously. You should eat a lot of that. And that is fruits and vegetables and leafy greens. So all three pyramids align that vegetables and fruits should be at the very top of your consumption. 
that should be the that should be the main thing that you that you consume: fruits and vegetables and leafy greens. Now, let's move to the next pyramid. And this pyramid is called the vegan food pyramid. And in the vegan food pyramid, it has at the top of the pyramid the, what you, the thing that you, could, you should consume sparingly. That includes vegetable oils and fats, some sweets, salt, spices, and nuts. And so those should be consumed sparingly. As we move to the second level of the pyramid coming down, it said fortified dairy substitutes, should, maybe two to three servings, and should eat moderately. Legumes, seeds, beans, two to three servings, should eat those moderately. Move to the next level of the vegan food pyramid. It calls for whole grain bread, whole grains, bread, rice, and pasta. General no, cereal groups, six to eleven servings, eat those generously. And the at the bottom, it calls for three to five servings of vegetables. All the vegetable groups eat those liberally or eat those generously. And if on the other side, calls for the in, to eat two to four servings of fruit, eat that liberally. So it calls for huge, a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruit. Just like for all the pyramid, the four pyramids that we looked at, all of them suggest that you should eat vegetables, you should eat fruits generously. Now, let's look at the vegan pyramid also calls for you to eat eight to ten, I'm sorry, for you to drink eight to ten glasses of, of water daily. And if you're very active, they call for you to drink even more. So eight ounces, eight Eight ounces glass of water, sixty-four ounces, up to six, up to eighty ounces of water. You will use so at least sixty-four ounces of water daily. So, all of the pyramids that we looked at encourage eating fruits and vegetables as the main cog of your diet. So, if you just increase your vegetable intake, increase your fruit intake. You, your health will improve. Increase your water intake, your health will improve. And when we talk about vegetables, we avoid canned vegetables. Avoid uh, vegetables, like we said, that comes in a can. Avoid canned vegetables, avoid canned fruits, avoid canned beans if you can. Try to get fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, and try to get your beans. If you, dried beans are good, but try to try to get fresh vegetables, fresh beans, fresh fruits, and uh, and above all, get fresh water, clean water, spring water. Try to get out. Try to put lime in your water that raises your pH levels. Drink alkaline water, spring water. Drink clean water. So. The next slide, if we see that, look at the next slide, it was the most important thing. You, if you eat better, you'll feel better. And with COVID-19, it's wintertime now, it's very cold. So not only you got to worry about COVID, you got to worry about catching a cold, you got to worry about uh, the flu, you got to worry about all kinds of things. So it's inevitable that you're going to get sick. You may get the flu, but if your immune system is strong, if you're healthy, you'll ride through the flu. You'll ride through a cold. Not that say you, you, you won't get sick because you eat healthy, but it, your, your recovery time will, will be less. So take care of yourself. Be responsible. Eat correct. Try to eat right. Try to have a diet rich in vegetables. Veggies, fruits, beans, nuts, all of that makes up a very clean diet. And if you eat meat, like I said, try to have meat, probably about 10% of the food that you consume in a week. So 
With that, we leave you. Hope your day is great. Hope your night is great. Whenever you, whenever you listen to this podcast, we hope that you're feeling great. Hope you're eating well. You're feeling well. And you're doing well. So the next time, we hope that you hit the like button. Make a comment on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video with friends and family. We love you all. Peace and blessings. See you next time.